So we are going to use Google Sheets to make a histogram and find the mean, median, and mode. So the first thing is for this uh, Google Sheet, I want to make sure I've got it named so I don't end up with an unnamed uh, document in my drive, organizing and presenting data. Okay, so first thing, I'm going to use the two bedroom data. Uh, notice all the data is out of order. So I'm going to click on the top and hold down my mouse button. So click and hold and drag to select all the data. And then I'm going to go here to data and sort range. Sort range by column B. A to Z, that'll give me lowest to highest. If I did Z to A, that would be highest to lowest. I want A to Z, and boom. Notice it's all in order, so very nice. Next thing is, I'm going to select that whole column, starting with two bedroom all the way down, and I'm going to insert a histogram. So I can go to Insert Chart here. See the little icon? I could have also pressed the same icon over here. Would have done the same thing. Insert Chart, and it's thinking, and it says, okay, you want a column chart. And actually, I want a histogram. So I'm going to click on Chart Type. See my chart editor open up over here. Change the chart type. Go down to Histogram. OK. And I also want to turn on Use Row 1 as headers. So that way, uh, the series is named after the two-bedroom column. Now, notice that uh, my buckets or classes are all split up by 50. I want to change that to make it by 40. So I'm going to go over here to Customize to the right. And I want to click on Histogram and change the bucket size from Auto. I'm going to type in 40 and hit Enter. Boom. Notice they all split up by 40. Looks a little bit more spaced out. Looks better that way. Um, and then the other thing is, notice I'm missing uh, titles for my chart and also my axes my x-axis. So I'm going to go to chart and axis titles. Click on that. And first thing is I want to change the chart title. So I'm going to call it to bedroom FMR in Ohio and hit enter. Okay. And then I want to change the horizontal axis title. And I'm just going to call that rent. And hit enter. Boom. Notice it appears right here. That's awesome. OK. So now my chart looks good. I can shrink it up if I want. And I can close the chart editor. Okay. This only works on the web version, so you need to be using a desktop or a laptop or a Chromebook to access these features. Next thing, I want to uh, put in my mean, median, and mode. So I'm going to type in mean, median, and mode. And then in the cell to the right of mean, I'm going to start a new formula with equals. Whenever you want a formula, one of the preset ones, you always start with equals. I'm going to type in mean. But unfortunately, Google Sheets doesn't name theirs that way. Maybe I don't know for whatever reason. So let's try average. Yep, and it has average. So I can click on that. And now it wants me to enter, well, which data do you want to find the average of? So I'm going to go up here and select all my data. Notice it inserts it into the formula. And all I have to do is hit Enter. OK, and then I'm going to do the same thing, equals, and type in median. Fortunately, that one's there. I don't have to guess a different name. And I'm going to select the same data and hit Enter. And then the same thing for mode. And there might be multiple modes, so I'm going to hit mode.molt. See if there's multiple modes. And again, select the same data and hit Enter. And boom, I got mean, median, and mode uh, for my data, two-bedroom data, and it's right there. Awesome.